Welcome to iLecture Online and now we're continuing with our search to the answer of what the Big Bang was, what happened in the early stages of the universe. So right after the Second World War, two uh, scientists, one named Ralph Alfred, the other one called Robert Herman, came up with some very interesting ideas. They looked at the consistency of the universe and they realized that the universe, by and large, if you look at all the stars and all the planets and everything that are out there, that about 75% of the universe is made up of hydrogen and the other 25% is made up of helium. And we can look at every star in the universe, every galaxy, primarily all matter in the universe, almost 100% of it is either hydrogen or helium. And a very small percentage is made up of the other elements of the periodic table, such as what our bodies are made out of, what the Earth is made of, and so forth. So that was very interesting. Another thing that they began to realize is when they looked at stars and studied stars that they understood that at the very core of the stars, nuclear fusion was taking place which provided the, amount, the tremendous amount of energy that stars produce. So what happens at the core of a star is hydrogen is converted into helium. And that is done through a nuclear fusion process generating enormous quantities of energy. Now that can only take place when the temperature is at a minimum 10 million degrees. The reason for that is the hydrogen atoms, which are basically protons at that temperature, the electrons are stripped away, ionized, and so therefore we sim simply have single protons floating around in there, and they get two protons to come close enough to each other to fuse together to eventually make helium, because you need four protons to make one helium atom, or one helium nucleus. You need a temperature of at least 10 million degrees to make them move fast enough so they can collide before the repulsive force will push them away. So they understood that this was happening at the center of the stars. And we know then, of course, that at the core of the stars, hydrogen is being converted to helium until the entire core fills up with helium. So they thought that since 25% of the universe is made up of helium and 75% of hydrogen, at some early stages of the universe, hydrogen must have been converting to helium at a very rapid, rapid pace, under, under probably tremendous temperatures and pressures. And so therefore, they, they surmised that at the very beginning of the universe, it must have been extremely hot so that this thermonuclear reaction was taking place throughout the universe, converting at very rapid rates hydrogen into helium. And so that was the early concept of a very hot, dense universe ferociously exercising the nuclear fusion process and therefore producing so much helium out of that hydrogen that was there available and there at a tremendous rate. They didn't know why or how, they just knew that this is probably what must have happened. And that was our first concept of a hot beginning of a universe. Were they correct? It turns out they were. But now that we know more about how the universe started, we're actually able to put that part of the universe's story into a much better context. And once we do that, you'll be amazed of what we actually find, of how that so much uh, matches what we find and what we see when we start you know, studying this and we start making observations as to how the universe began in the beginning 13.8 billion years ago. So that was the beginning of understanding the hot early universe. And so we're going to continue looking at all the observations and ideas that people came about because of what we observe and why we now think that the universe started the way it did with a Big Bang. So if you're still interested, stay tuned and we'll go to the next video.